In this video, I'm going to show you how I create my Instagram carousels inside Adobe Photoshop. I'm also going to share with you some of the tools and the techniques that I've created for myself to make this whole process a lot easier. But before we get started, there's a free Photoshop template in the description, which you can download that we'll be using in this video, which will make the setup a lot easier and a lot faster. In the description, you will also find a premium version of this tutorial where I will show you how I create advanced designs like this and this. It includes multiple templates with my custom designs on them and a few of my favorite fonts that I will use to spice up my work. So if you're interested in taking your carousels to the next level, go and check it out. That's enough from me, let's get started. So once you've downloaded the template, this is what you should have on your screen. So the first thing I do is drag in a photo and I just like having a single photo as the cover. So I'll just fit it and just leave that like that. And then another thing I like to do is bring in four landscape photos. And so I'll grab the first one and fit it in there. Then I will grab the um, rectangular marquee tool and just drag it from both edges and then drag down until I get to 337 pixels. Then if it's not perfect, if the car's not perfectly in the middle, I right click and then click transform selection and pull it down until the car's about in the middle. And then click down here, the mask button. Then I will drag this back up like that. Then I'll grab another landscape image and do the exact same thing. And for the last image, you don't have to mask it. Just come in here, resize it, and then drag it to the bottom. And then you can just drag it until you like where it is. Another thing I like to do is drag in a landscape photo of the car and then resize it to fit over two slides. Then I will duplicate this layer twice because there's two cars. And then on the first one, I will cut out the car with the polygonal lasso tool. Then I click the mask button and then I'll click on the second layer and cut out the other car. Now I will drag in a portrait photo and for this I like to choose a photo of each car. So for the GT3 I'll choose this photo and just resize that to about there. And then I'll drag it underneath the layer and just directly behind the car in the middle. Then I'll right click blending options and then stroke and I like to have a size of about 5, opacity 50, and the color just like a gray color. Then I'll grab the second photo for the other car. In this one, I will be using this. And then I like to drag it over the other photo and resize it so it's the same size. Then align it, have it behind the middle of the car. Then right click, blending options and then stroke. This one, I'll drag in just a full body image of the car and resize it so it fits. Then I will download the logo of this car. For this instance, I'll be using a black and white logo. Have it nice in the middle, maybe a little bit smaller. Then I will have. Then I want to have some text at the bottom, so I'll just search up Porsche GT3, and then the basic thing that I just use is Wikipedia, and then I will just copy and paste the first paragraph in. Then I'll just drag it into the middle. And there you have it. Because the text is white, I also want the logo to be white. So I'll click on the logo, blending options, stroke, make this size the max it can be, inside, and then color white and opacity 100%. And there you go. Now that we're finished, it's time to export. So you wanna to go to Artboard Zero, 
select all then duplicate all the layers and then right click them all again and click merge layers then you want to drag this merge layer down to instagram panel one and then you can turn off the visibility for artboard zero then you want to alt drag to the next panel and then drag this along till you see the next panel and then keep alt drag drag it along alt drag drag it along and just keep doing this until you're done now that you've finished click file export artboards to files and then browse and choose your folder then you want to have the file as jpeg and then show export options and have the quality to the max and you can just copy my settings here then click run and it will come up with a little notice that shows that you're done and click ok and now all your files should be exported and here you go now if you want to know how i make stuff like this click the link in the description and go check out the premium version for now that's all i'll see you guys in the next tutorial